Hi, I'm T. Cooper. I'm a makeup artist, hairstylist, and co-founder of beauty and grooming business Metro Look. Today, I'm going to show you how to pin back braids over loose hair. Right now, my model's hair is loose, so what I'd like to do is I'm going to do a cute little center part, and then I'm going to do two braids going backward. Let's get started. I'm going to start out with a large comb, and I'm going to section the hair in the middle, or as close as the middle as I can get. And then I'm gonna take a section, maybe like a one inch section right away from the part. And this is the hair that I'm gonna work with in order to do my braid. So just for a little fun, can you tilt your head for me, sweetie? I'm gonna do a fishtail braid. So for a fishtail braid, instead of three strands, you split it in two. You take a little section of hair from one side, bring it on over to the other side, then a little section here from one side, bring it on over to the other side, and you keep repeating that process. So a little section here, a little section there. I like to use my index finger to point it, but it's totally up to you, however works best for you. And then we're gonna, just gonna do this all the way down. Takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. And you see that little fishtail pattern that's starting to form? Bring it over here. And then you just keep braiding all the way down. Or you can even go halfway, whichever way you'd like. Because since we're pinning it back, you don't have to see the whole thing. I'm going to go down about three quarters of the way down. And then a little section from one side, a little section from the other side. A little section from one side. Don't make it too tight because in order to show off the detail in the fishtail, sometimes you just want to tug on it a little bit when you're done just to show the detail of the braid. And I'm almost where I want to stop. I'm just going to go over a few more times. And you can secure the braid by either spraying the tip where you're ending the braid and back combing, or you can use a clear elastic. I have a clear elastic here, so this is what I'm going to do with it. And now that the braid is done, I just want to pull at it a little bit just to show the detail. And then we're going to pin it back away from her face. And using a bobby pin, I'm going to pin it back underneath her hair. I'm not going to pin it over. I'm going to pick up her hair. Pin this braid. I'm going to crisscross it just so that it stays put. Put the hair over it and you can't even see it. And any little areas, you can just tidy them up. And then you can repeat that process on the other side. I'm T. Cooper and I just showed you how to do a braided pulled back hairstyle with loose hair. Thank you for watching. Thank you.